hard canvas. Um, I have it on my easel. You don't need an easel, but cover your workspace at least, cover your clothing. We're gonna work with three brushes tonight, that uh, three quarter inch flat brush, a round brush, it could be a six or an eight round brush. And then you'll want a smaller, tinier brush for some details for your outlines and such. I have a cup of water to rinse my brushes, a paper towel to dry, and then the three, the, I'm sorry, the five colors, our primary colors that we're working with. And again, this is probably more paint than you need. Five primaries, red, yellow, blue, black, and white. All right, so let's work on sketching our hummingbird out. And I'm gonna have Mark zoom in for you guys so you can see it a little more close up. Do sketch now? Yeah, I'm gonna do it in pencil and then I will go over it with marker. So you can see it better. Okay. So here we go. All right. All right, I'm in there. All, all right. All they see is your hand. All righty. So in the center of our canvas, or about the center of our canvas, I just want to start with a circle, a small circle, maybe two inches. This is going to be kind of the start of his head. I don't. Can you see the sketch of my pencil or on there or now? Um. Let's see, no, I can't see it. Hold on, I can't see it, but not because of, yeah, okay, here we are. Now we're zooming in, because we ha I have a delay on my camera. Right. So um, I have to see you draw it. I haven't seen you draw it yet. <laughs> I'm too I would say that it's too light. Okay. You're not using a, a Sharpie? I will, but I wanted to kind of sketch it before I. Yeah, you can barely see it. I see you drawing it now, it's too light. Okay. You can't hardly see it. All right, well, so you're gonna start with that about a two inch circle, about. Now, I'm gonna have to just kind of go over my lines as I go, but, so after you start with that two inch circle, we can we can actually paint the beacon when we're, when we get to painting, so I'm not gonna worry about that part. Okay. Um, let's go to the body. So, kind of toward the bottom of our, the bottom right side of our circle, you wanna work on sort of a, um, Start with almost an oval shape. Okay. Let's start with that. And then I'm gonna sort of fan out, whoops, fan out the bottom of that. Yeah, now they can see that a lot better. Good. So this kind of like makes an elongated triangular shape coming from the top of our oval down to the bottom. Okay. And then the wing. So the wing is, let's go, it's probably about as long as your, either your, probably your brush, let's see. Sorry, yeah. So you're talking, it's pretty long for his wing. So I want to do a curved line, kind of coming out from right below, the, right below the neck. It's almost halfway on that circle. And then I'm going to put a dot up here. So I'm coming about three inches in from the left. I'm sorry, from the right side of my canvas, and about an inch or so down. All right. And then we're going to connect these two dots with a curved line down. So I'm going to connect these two like. All right, give them a chance to uh, make sure they're keeping up with you at this time. Yeah, Carrie Wells Johnson just said, I just stopped by this to see your <laughs> hair. <laughs> you like, you like. <laughs> I love it. Okay, we got some newcomers here. We got Brandy Barnes Rabone. Hi, Brandy. Brandy and Lauren from Eden, Maryland. It's their first time. Hi, guys. We Welcome. got Deha Jane from New Jersey, first timer. Linda Day from Northern Maryland. Hi, Linda. We've got a lot of people here and a lot of new people. Awesome. Wendy Rollins from New Haven. Welcome, Wendy. Right, Audrey earlier said that she meant the paint in your hair. Is that dry? Oh, it's barely, yeah, barely. <laughs> she, did, she did try and blow dry it before I left so she could get a couple of pictures. 
We just right. didn't do like the whole fancy curls and all that. Eh, didn't happen, but that's now okay. we got uh we got Yoli Sanchez from Daytona, Florida. Awesome. Yeah, we got somebody from down south. Cool. All right, so this we're gonna kind of the wing we're gonna sort of connect down about the mid like midway in this oval shape. So let's do kind of a little dot there. All right. Hi, rascal. I know I was near another dog. And then, I mean, it can be just, you know, your pencil line coming down. It's going to be like sort of straight like that? Well, when we get to painting, then you'll feather it out. So okay, okay. It's so all going to be done. It. Yeah, so don't worry about too much about those kind of things. All right. All right, and then this, we're going to connect kind of the body with and the neck with the With these two face. circles, yeah. Okay, so it's kind of a curved line in there. And then again, we'll sort of get to that beak when we're painting. All right, to that sharp, yeah, thin beak. I just wanted to get kind of a little bit on there so we don't have to wait till it's completely dry to paint over. I All know. All right, well, we got a bunch of new people here, um, um, and then just some people with some comments. But uh, um, as you go on, you already told them their primary colors. Yep. So and primary colors. Doing red, a sketch out right now for them. Red, yellow, blue, black, white. If you guys are new, so yeah, I'm like so disheveled. Sorry, but is this the base? This is the basic sketch that you want them to have right now. Correct. And it's going to begin now, right? Yep. Okay, so before we get started, I just wanted to give a shout out. Tammy yeah. Backus Bentler is from the Poconos. Awesome. Uh, come back to join us again and says, love your teaching technique. Aw, thank you. Udita Gupta says, this is my first time with you in a live, Aww. but I did some of your paintings from your videos already. See? And that's real. I really I'm glad thought, you get to see us live now. Yes. Yay. And I, I'm just happy that people are still using the videos. <laughs> people are still using the still videos. Painting yeah. And enjoying themselves. And of course, we always tell you, send in those photos. And I kind of just go back and add them to the albums after you send them to us. All right, we have Miyoko Zornes or Miyoko Zorns like from it. San Diego, California. All right, yeah. we got a Californian in the house. That's what I'm talking about. Excited about California. Yeah, we got to get more. The eight o'clock start time is a little bit better for them, you know. But I guess really we would have to do like nine o'clock for for just for California. Well, we said we can do some later ones, maybe a West on the Coast, weekend. A West Coast centric yes. type of a. Uh, all right, then we got, did I say Cheryl Colton from Ancaster, Ontario? No, I didn't get that one. Okay, we got we got a, um, we got a nice little uh, group awesome. of people painting with us from Canada. Very good. So we're we going to be up there sooner or later. We're going to be up there. Can you um, unzoom? Oh, yes, I can. And then we can get started with painting. Here we go. We'll, we'll resume once we um, once we get to some details. Oh, cool. oh yes, definitely. First, of course, since I didn't say, if you don't know us, hello. <laughs> I'm Jennifer Marks behind the computer. He's giving me, of course, your names, information, your comments back to us. We're in Mimosas and Masterpieces, and we're out of South Brook, New Jersey. Prior to COVID, we were going out on the road. We are a traveling paint and sip. So we were doing parties, whether it's 10 people, whether it's 100 people, we've done it all. Um, we don't just do canvases, we're doing wine bottles, glasses, trays, we started to do resin pours. So we were kind of um, a little smidge devastated when everything got canceled at the end of February. We started painting virtually, very beginning of March, and it's kind of been my silver lining of everything going on. And meeting people. And We've gotten to um, e-meet so many of you. We appreciate um, the connections that we've made. We always say, even when you come to our small studio, you come as a guest and you leave as a friend. And I feel so strongly about that, even with all of you guys virtually. There's so many of you that um, I've made a connection with and a friendship with. So thank you guys again for tuning in, for sharing. We appreciate them. Again, tonight we're doing a free painting. We do accept tips, we do appreciate them. Um, since we're not quite out there doing what we really love to do for money yet. <laughs> right, right, and we do have pay painting sessions as well. We do, we do have $5 Zooms, but it's so much simpler, I know, to get on Facebook Live. So we appreciate you all being here tonight. Yes. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with that large flat brush. Okay, rinse and dry, dunk it in the water, dry it off. Now, depending on the type of blue you have will depend on, will determine, I should say, 
how much white you want. So you want to get kind of this light blue textured background look. To do that, I always say I kind of start with a corner of blue and a corner of white. And for those that have been with me, you know my technique, right? Corner of blue, corner of white, and we're going to just do X's throughout the entire background. I am going to cover the areas where the, um, where the sunflowers are because we're going to let it dry and then we're going to paint over. We're just going to try to avoid our hummingbird, okay? So those X's, you're just going to, I'm going to start right in the middle of my canvas. It doesn't matter where you start, but so those X's, you're just going to push some paint on your canvas. You're going to switch your brush or flip your brush over, spin it in your fingers and go back over it. So you're just flipping that brush back and forth all over the canvas. As you get used to doing this, you can go faster. And again, depending on how dark that blue that you have is, det de will determine how much white you'll put on your canvas. So if it's too dark, add more blue, add more white, not blue. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so X's all over. We're doing this throughout the entire canvas. And that X stroke kind of just creates some texture in the sky. As you get to your edges, your top and bottom, grab those edges and the top and bottom, it helps your canvas look finished or your piece look finished when you're done. And you'll just continue to do this, corner of white, corner of blue, throughout your entire background. It's probably best if you can to get the around the edges first okay. and then go toward our hummingbird so that this dries first so we can work on our flowers. Okay. Okay. So again, it's just Kind of a flip of the wrist or flip of, flip of the fingers on there so press down spin press down and just keep overlapping those x's okay grab those edges rascal did not even get to say hi to me as i ran don't don't start him up as i ran hey, down the he? stairs oh no he's right there he's right in front of me all right you already put you on the timer so he doesn't have to say hi. I was petting another puppy while I was, you know, getting my hair done. So. Yeah, well, once he plants himself right there at your feet and, and the audience the timer can't see, started. the timer has started. <laughs> and once she gets to the two-hour mark, if she's not done with the painting, then he will make his, uh, he will make his, his protest. No. That's right. <laughs> so don't get him started. He's cool right now. He knows. He's just saying he sees you painting. Oh, he's gonna go be again. like pretty much uh okay we're on the clock we're on the clock yeah you are you laughing what did he do the other day <laughs> i know he was barking at me freaking barking at me all right so you're doing your x we're doing those x's and you're just doing oh uh, well look you didn't do that you didn't do the corner of white that time you did corner you were doing a corner of white and corner of blue right corner of okay white, and now it looks like you're just doing oh you're doing both okay yeah Okay, I'm just watching. Corner of white, corner of blue. But if you have a dark blue that you're using, so my blue is relatively light right. compared to what most people may have. So you may need to add more white. So you may need to do a corner of white, corner of blue, and then go back and grab a scoop of white and do X's of white on there. Okay. The goal is just to kind of create some texture with some white and blue in that sky. All right, so now we've got another first timer, Linda Hi. Garden, just joining us for the first time. Hi, Linda. Then we've got uh, Karen and Priscilla in Bayville, New Jersey, joining us Hi, tonight. Karen and Priscilla. Oh, and it's not Udita Gupta, it oh. is Alicia. Hi, Alicia. Gupta. Oh, okay. That is my mom's account. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We have. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> but no, like, yeah, just let Mark know if you're on another account. Just let him know because he likes to keep track of who he's talking to when he sees your name pop up. I'm trying. Christina <laughs> Gonzalez joined us from California. Hi, Again. Christina. Yes. Welcome it's been back. A while. <laughs> right, Nikki from PA. Hi, Nikki. Uh, now, check it out. Nikki's at work. Okay. But. We'll do it on the weekend. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, wait, you're going to paint at work? That is funny. No, no. <laughs> she's making frames for her painting. And she says she will show you when <gasps> she's done. You're making frames? See, I told you you was going to start something. Yeah. I told you. I told you're gonna you You're going to have to share something. with me. Share with me. Share with us. How many can you make? 
<laughs> but then see, see, okay, now, instead of it being Miha, first timer from New Jersey, it is Avni. Avni. Avni is the one who's joining us tonight. Awesome. So let me make a note of that. So as I get close to my hummingbird, yes. and again, it's okay if you go over it a little. You can always kind of line those bristles up next to your outline and kind of pull away. Okay? Okay. And then I sort of just go back over with those X's. All right, so, um, all right, you didn't go over the hummingbird. Yes. Yeah, if so you I go in inside the borders of the hummingbird. It's okay. It happens. So I like to kind of line up my bristles next to my outline and then just sort of pull away. Yeah, that's something that people who um, are not familiar with it, I'm going to have to move in closer. Okay. Go ahead. Uh -oh. Whoa. Did you break the chair? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, show them that you're going to line it up when you get close enough to that. Yep, so as I get close to my hummingbird, I kind of line up the bristles next to my outline, using a little bit of pressure, and then I pull away. And then it sort of, you know, you're basically outlining it <laughs> okay. without brushing over it. <laughs> you're just using your brush bristles as kind of your, uh, your outlining tool. Right. Now, Alicia is asking, can you slow down? Don't worry, yep. I'm gonna have her repeat yeah. the steps as she finishes the background and other people are finishing their background. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna give you guys some time, okay? Just because I'm painting quickly doesn't mean I'm gonna move on to the next step right now. Right, okay? we won't move on to the next step until you guys give us the thumbs up or the let me know in the majority of you. Yep. Uh, let me know that you're okay and then we'll move on slowly but surely and we will be repeating the steps. So you just keep moving along at your pace. That's right. And if you need any other instruction or any other, you know, you have any other issues, just let me know. Yeah. Yeah, just because I'm painting quickly doesn't mean I'm going to move right on, guys. I promise. So to repeat, the blue and black, you're yes. just taking a corner of blue and a corner of white and just using X marks on your canvas. Uh -huh. So you use one side of the brush with the paint and then you flip it over and use the other side. And you just kind of keep overlapping those X's. Yes. And you're blending on canvas. You're creating some texture to your background as you go. Now, Jackie Forrest says, hi. Hi, Jackie. I'm going to wait till my kids go to bed and catch <laughs> the replay. <laughs> good thinking, girl. <laughs> That's what people do. Yep. Yep. Good thinking. Well, you new time, you know, your first timers. Um, we, we have a lot of people that are loyal um, audience members that come and join us. You guys keep coming back. <laughs> yeah, and they, we they love just it. love to paint. So um, they're here whenever, you know, whenever we're out here, they're usually here joining us for our session. And um, the whole thing about this is that if you miss a session or you can't finish a session, there's always a video. Right after we finish the session, we post a video. Yes, as soon as we're done recording, as soon as we're done going live, we save it, we upload it. Um, and then you guys can go right back to the event anytime and you can go back to any of our Facebook live events That's how it works. And we're finding that a lot of people are uh, Taking the time out to go check out the videos look in our um, look at the lineup of all of the different paintings that we've put together There's um, still a bunch coming up, <laughs> right? So, you know, you just pick and choose which one you like and you sit down and you relax just like you were doing it live we've seen so many people's galleries so keep those photos coming. Um, every week I like to do, I've been for the past three or four weeks doing a spotlight artist. So we are here just as a guide for you. Um, you'll hear me say every time, it's not just about putting paint on canvas for us. It is about creating a memory for you. It's about having some downtime, whether it, with, it's by yourself or with your family or with a friend. It's having a a sip of whatever you so choose. <laughs> right. Um, so it's about a positive experience, and we are all about putting positive into the world. And of course, and whatever, now, whatever bit that may be. <laughs> right. So of course, she has her top fans right now because people who have been <laughs> joined that have joined us from day one. Okay, and they've actually gotten better as they've continued to paint. All right. A clear example is Anya is done. Of course, Anya's done. <laughs> <laughs> Anya was pro before she started painting with me, I think. <laughs> but um, but yes. Yeah, so you know, we it's it's about positivity. It's about you know 
having a good time and just kind of clearing your mind of everything going on for just a little while. We've learned that art is therapy for all of us. Um, I know some of you are very, you know, um, OCD about the way that you paint and you, you like it done perfectly. Uh, we, we encourage you to kind of let that go a bit if you can. <laughs> yeah. We always say, my painting is not going to look, look like, like my one. painting. <laughs> and, and your, your painting is not going to look like my I'll painting. I'll just let Mark say it since he likes that line. <laughs> no, we got to start saying it together. That's got to be a trademark. We've got to make, I've got to get the, I've got to right. pay the, i got to pay the fee right. for the trademark so that nobody else can relax. use that saying. Relax. Shh. Relax. Calm down. I'm working so. on that, you know. Okay. But, but yes, that is what it's about. It's just kind of creating your own thing, building a little bit of confidence in yourself, enjoying what you're doing. We want you to walk away with a great masterpiece. Um, we want you to enjoy spending time with us, laughing at us, with us yeah, for a little more, while. See more of our regulars, okay? <laughs> more you of our regulars say, I'm ready. Ready? Cinder, I am done too. Cinder's done and too. And I am not OCD. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> oh my. Uh -huh. So yes, once we get a couple of more of you guys that are ready to go, then we'll move on to the next step. Yes. Now you, Abby, even Abby's, even Abby's ready. If you are done, you could rinse and dry that flat brush. And that's what she just said. Should we rinse and dry? Yep. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth, guys. Yeah. But well, we got a bunch of new people here. Great. Um, well, I, was, I don't know if they're new, but they, they just joined, you know, like Cynthia awesome. Collazo, Jennifer Marie Vargas. Hey, Cynthia. I think most of you guys are just coming to check out the hair. That's why. Oh, You're not that's painting. cool. You're that's just coming cool. to look. Well, look, okay, I guess so, because we got Stacey Katz Freelander on here. <laughs> yes. We got Janine Stickinger on here. Okay, Amy Clark is here. Ann Hinkle is here. Ann Hinkle the Primo. All, all of okay, the, they're uh, all checking your hair out, all, baby. <laughs> all of my friends are actually here. Not painting, but watch, checking out the hair. No, they don't have to paint. <laughs> you don't have to paint. Just come I and love join it. us. I love it. So we I have will, fun when we're here painting with all these people from all over. I will uh, put you in touch with the girl that did my hair, if you would like, if you're local. She is working on becoming a master colorist. Um, and she has some, she's always got some awesome hair. She does her hair, her boy's hair. She's always got a nice short style. And I said... Mark likes it long, just you That's may right. not cut it above my shoulder. That's right. <laughs> and I was all for trauma. going bold. I said, go ahead, just surprise me. And she took out like six bottles or seven bottles of color. I was like, eek, okay, <laughs> here we go. Uh -huh. But I love it. She was so in love with the pink. And I was like, purple? Everyone said purple. Purple's my favorite color. So everyone said purple, purple, purple. Uh -huh. That's what I've had in the past. I was looking for different. And okay. she nailed it. <laughs> All right. Red bones are done. Avni is done. Anya is done. All right, guys. Okay, Beautiful. Anya says it has been probably two weeks since I painted with you guys. I know. It's been a while. That's what Mark said the other day when we paint. What did we paint the other day? The Cardinals. We painted the Cardinals. He said. And, and she just said, I, I just know. finished the recorded Cardinal oh, painting good. at 8.03 today. <laughs> Mark said, and then I joined I you guys on. for this beautiful painting. Good so job. she just finished the Cardinals and is just continuing on. That's how it works. As an girl. artist, you just keep running through those canvases. Yeah, that's what happens when you, when you really like what you're doing. Yeah. And you just keep doing it. And, you know, oh, we're Absolutely. here. They know you, they know the dates. I'll be beating off the dates for all you new people. Yep. We still have plenty of dates with free, uh, free sessions that we'll have coming up. we got a couple of uh, Zoom sessions coming up. We got a real big girls' night thing coming up. I'll just I'll be reading that off to you as yeah, we get. Yeah, we'll talk about that when we middle. get a little yeah. closer. What do we think? Uh, Jessica Marie Boner is here. Hi, Jess. How Celine are you? Es is here. Can we send all the pictures of paintings at once? Yeah. I've followed a few of your paintings. Yeah, you. And can, can I also make a request? Yes. P.S. Love the hair. <laughs> you can also make a request and thank you. And yes, if you want to send multiples to me at one time, just send them in the messenger. Um, it's easier for me to grab them all that way. But when we're painting, like on a specific painting, uh -huh. I'll always post the, that thank you post after we upload the video. I post that thank you post, our kind of like our tip jar information, which we appreciate. And then you guys can post those photos right under that post and I can go back there and grab them easily instead of kind of, 
I was originally like checking my email and checking our messages and checking like all different various posts throughout and sometimes I would occasionally miss some which I disappointed myself for doing that so okay okay it's all right so well, Chica is it. done awesome and then um Avni says this is my first time I love your technique oh thank you and then um oh wait Abby Abby says Abby. I missed the cardinal because oh. it says Deanne Davis but that's Abby oh Abby yes yes I missed the cardinal that's right so that's yes, all right if you, you go back and paint yep, the cardinal go back to the events go back to our past events and then if you go into that cardinal painting um, that cardinal event the painting video is in this discussion you just have to click discussion and scroll a bit and you'll find it there all right, all right. what do we all say right, we get continue on let's do it all right now Diane Murphy says I love the hair <laughs> Thank and she you. says I'm so excited to do the hummingbird I get them as, as, as signs yeah. from my grandma I all know the time. I love we it we were talking about that yes before. we were all right I'm gonna switch brushes now we're gonna switch over to that medium brush whether it's an eight or a six mine's an eight this is kind of be gonna be our kind of coloring brush for our hummingbird we're gonna let this whole background dry to get those flowers done after we get our hummingbird in okay so so you don't have to follow my color pattern of the hummingbird I'm gonna try and work on making the same thing that I did before but again it does not have to be the same all right I'm gonna start with let's start with that kind of a purple color so to get that purple color I'm gonna grab a scoop of blue and a scoop of red and mix in a small area on your plate Lots of comments tonight, huh? Yes. We have a <laughs> nice, nice A Monday. Tonight. Is Mondays better, guys? Or is it the painting? What is it? <laughs> what is yeah, it? please let us We're know. We're trying to figure it out. <laughs> sometimes we go live. What is the best day of the week We go live painting? on a Friday and there's 10 of you. And then sometimes we come on a Monday and there's probably 50 of you, right? And then people, people on the West Coast, what's the best day? What's the best time to do a, a, a session? Yeah, we're kind of all over the place with time, so we, you know, we appreciate you guys kind of giving us your feedback. We want you to continue painting with us, and we want to know what you what you want to paint, what you like to paint, what time is good to paint. All right, so with that purple color that I made, I'm going to just go up the side of his wing, so the top of the wing, and it's going to be a little bit thicker where his head is, where his head and neck is, so I'm just going to kind of run that all the way along the edge of that wing. Okay. So we kind of want to make this a little bit thicker. This should be a little bit thinner out here. Right now, um, um, I just want to answer somebody's question. Julie sure. Ann Bauer says, a video, um, will this video be available to watch later? Yes. Yep. Yes, we will always post the video when we do it on Facebook for free. You we got always it. post it minutes after we finish the <laughs> session. Yep. So you can always come back and paint it. And that goes for any of the sessions that we've had, any of the any events of that we've had. You come yeah. to this page here, Mimosas and Masterpieces, click on the word events. You can scroll down at every time we had an event here on Facebook, <laughs> and you'll see the see it's the picture there. of the painting. And then you decide if you want to paint it, just click on the video. That's right. All right. So I'm sticking with that purple color. All right. So in our in the body of our hummingbird, I'm going to be in the center of our body. So I just want to use little brush strokes, almost like feathers, on his body. Now this may be a little darker than I've got over there, but we'll go over with some white. Okay, so I'm just using little brush strokes to kind of go almost like a big stripe right across his, the center of his body. And again, it doesn't, placement is up to you. Uh -huh. There's patterns on all animals, all birds, and they don't have to be the same. They're all gonna be different, right? I'm zooming in for them. Okay. Okay, this is, this is on its last you need Yeah, change the chairs. Aiden brought that chair from the back. <laughs> that would be bad. Okay. Sturdy chair, yay. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't need to fall. No. So, kind of the okay. center of his body, and I want to come across the bottom of the tail. Again, using little tiny brush strokes, almost like feathers, across the bottom of his tail. I'm going to kind of bring it up, leaving a little bit of space up there for some white. Now, Avni says, can you use a mini canvas? Of course. You can scale down anything you, scale you want. Down. Yep. So sometimes when you hear me talk about sizes then, like an inch or two inches or four inches, that's not really going to apply to something when you're scaling down. So you just kind of have to keep that in mind. That's all. All right. And then uh, Christina Gonzalez says, what kind of brush are you using? I'm using a round brush. So this is a number eight round brush. Okay. Yep. This is this brush. If you want to go with a smaller brush, you can go with a smaller brush. Okay, and we've got a couple of suggestions yes, that I've been writing go ahead. down. Now, um, let's see. Um, Abby says, Can you paint an elephant? I think Abby uh -huh. asked you to paint an elephant before. Abby, can, didn't you paint? We and painted didn't we have an elephant? Did we paint yeah, one? Yeah, I, I feel like we did Abby. I think I called it Abby's elephant. Did I not? I don't even remember. I'm not sure, but we can go back and look in the events. We did an elephant. It's it, So go back to our past events. It's in there, sweetie. Yep, you go back and check it out, and you can see the elephant. <laughs> All right, again with that purple, let's do kind of the center of the wing. So with for that, I'm doing some long strokes down the center of the wing. Again, we're going to kind of blend this in with other colors, so placement isn't super particular. Okay, just little strokes? Yeah, so they're kind of longer when they're at the, you know, the larger part of the wing Closer and they get the a little smaller as they kind of go out. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then you can rinse and dry. Yeah, now I have a first timer. Awesome. Mary Braven Saviola from Orchard Park. Hi, Mary. And her suggestion is, could you please put the Twin Towers on a New York license plate? Okay, that's That'd a That would be interesting one. for you to paint. I have never thought of that one. Okay. I wrote it down. Okay, that's different. All right, we also got squirrel with acorns. Somebody else asked for squirrels, too, I know. Squirrel is on my list. Yeah, with them <laughs> tails. You know what? Maybe, uh, is it for kids, right? Kids? So maybe I'll make that a part of the kid camp. That was Celine. Celine's Celine. asking for the squirrel with the acorns. Squirrel with acorns. Okay. That's that's definitely a fall painting. Yeah, I wrote it down. Awesome. All right. I'm rinsing and drying that brush. And I'm going to grab some white. So we're just going to go into white. And I want to kind of go over some of those little feathers that we made on his tummy. So I'm going to come across the bottom of it first with that white. So I'm just starting to fill in. And you're going into the purple. Yep. Uh, for Suman, can you please repeat how to make purple? The purple? So you're just going to grab a scoop of your blue and a scoop of your red. Depending on how dark your blue is, you may have to add a little bit more red to it. That's all. Right. Now, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, Julie and Christina told her it was red and blue. Okay. And I wanted to make sure that you, Thank you said it as well. You got it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yes. Yeah, we appreciate when there's that when there's that many of you. Please feel free to answer one another. Thank you. We appreciate that. Yes, normally I would ask questions like that, but I'm trying to keep up with the comments and <laughs> the requests. And yeah, so yeah, once I get caught up, then I'll be able to ask those questions because I'm thinking what you're thinking as you're painting with her. I'm thinking <laughs> I'm trying to think what you're thinking. All right, so let's do the same thing across the top part of this purple section. These little brush strokes. Again, I'm kind of overlapping some of that purple. We want it to be kind of an, a nice transition. So if it's too dark, so this is real light to dark, right. I'm just going to kind of go, go over that again with like another layer. Just using the same brush. Don't add more white to it. Just use what you have on your brush. Okay. And that's why I said we're kind of... Sorry. Come there. I want to get a little bit closer. Oh. Okay. Because you're doing those little tiny little, little tiny brush strokes. strokes. I know. Okay. So once you have kind of a nice transition of color in here where this is a little darker and these get a little lighter, 
Then you can just go back with some white. We're gonna come down to the tail area. Do the same with the tail area. Wow, okay. And then I wanna do across the top of that tail. Right, we did the elephant last month. I think That's it was even longer. Oh, I was gonna say, I think it I was even longer ago. I think it, yeah, I think it was Abby's, I thought it was Abby's elephant. Uh huh. All right, let's, we're gonna just fill in, let's do, we could do both of these areas. So let's fill in both of these areas with little brush strokes of white. Now you're gonna have purple on your brush still, and that's okay. It's just gonna keep getting lighter as you add those little brush strokes. And same thing up here. So we're gonna kind of come up to like the neck area with white. Hi, Rascal. Just relax, buddy. Just relax. So little brush strokes. We're just filling that in up to the neck area with that white. Trust the process. Yes. I know it doesn't look exactly like the other one. We're gonna add other colors, so trust the process. I know mm -hmm. sometimes even I kind of go to myself, wait, that's not right, something's not, doesn't look right, but just trust the process. We're gonna layer colors, okay? Okay. <laughs> it's okay, you can keep it zoomed in there. I can keep it zoomed in? Yeah, you can keep it zoomed, because we're gonna just keep going through details of color in this, so. Okay, now, um, let's see, it was, uh, Brandy and Lauren. Hi, Brandy and Lauren. Okay, from Eden, Maryland. It says, uh, how about a fall fox? <gasps> Didn't we do a fox? Well, we did do a fox, but if you haven't seen this one yet. Oh, oh, there you go. I don't know how zoomed there you are. There you go. I am zoomed all the way. I'll back it up. Okay, so. And I'll zoom back in. There is a fox. There's a baby fox. We called him Finny the Fox, and it was for a particular child. <laughs> And then this is um, a fall foxes painting. So for those of you that don't want the foxes, you can leave the foxes out and just have a beautiful fall painting. Otherwise, this is our fall foxes painting and it is for a Paint It Forward event. Right, then that day, that event is on August 20th at 7 p.m. That's a Zoom event. It will be through a Zoom. The suggested or requested donation is $10. It is for a local family near us. Right. We are, um, we are donating all of that $10 right to that family for medical needs for their son who has Tay-Sachs. Right, right, right. More details can be found on that um, event on Facebook. Okay. Okay. All right. You want to continue on? Yeah. So I'm going to continue with that white. So I still have some white on that brush. I still have some purple on that brush. I haven't rinsed and dried yet. Okay. So we're just going to go along the bottom, maybe the bottom half of the wing. So I'm going to midway let's say we're going to do those little brush strokes from the bottom of the wing up okay from the bottom of the wing up yep from the bottom of the sort wing. sort of like what you were doing when you were lining up your brush yep okay we're going to overlap some of that purple Now, Julie says, how do I find the old videos? You come right back to this page right here that you're on now, Mimosas and Masterpieces, and you look to the left side and you'll see the word events. Yep. And you'll click on that word, and then you'll you'll see a listing, a scrolling of all of the, di all the different events that we've done since we started this. And you can look at the pictures of the slideshows of uh, the, what people painted. Yep. And if you like those paintings and you decide you want to paint it, all you gotta do is click on the video and you can watch you any it. one of them. You'll just, once you click on, yeah, in that event, you have to click discussion in order to find the video. That's okay. That's always the trick. People are like, I can't find it. It's because it's in the event discussion. I'm not really sure. Facebook seems to like to hide those kind of things, but. Okay. Um, okay, so we, we did our purple. We, the purple along the wing, the top of the wing. Up here, a nice long brush stroke like this. We added our purple to in long, starting at long brush strokes for our wing. 
and then came up to the tip of the wing and kind of making those little brush strokes smaller as we got out to the tip of the wing. We went down across the tummy with the purple. Right. And then along the tail with the purple. And then I just grabbed some white with that brush and began kind of um, on either side sort of overlapping some of that purple with the white and just sort of pulling that out as we got to each edge of our hummingbird. Right. So that's, that, that's what um, that's what Alicia was saying. What Could you repeat what you do with yep. the white? Yep. So you're just overlapping. So you'll overlap the darker area of the purple first. What's going to happen is you're going to pick up more purple on that brush with the white. So you're going to do another layer with that white and purple. And you'll just kind of keep adding a little bit of white at a time as you go until you kind of fill in the entire area of your bird. And then the same thing up here, I just grabbed more white and then just kind of, you're almost blending it in the wing. So I kind of brought it from the edge of the wing up into the purple. Okay. Edge of the wing up into the purple. And you may have to kind of rub over it a little bit to blend because this is starting to dry now for you. Oh, all right. And speaking of birds, ours is singing up there. Just one of them. Yep, that's Holly. Now, Monica Gupta says, can you paint a peacock? Oh, we have a peacock, too. We have a peacock. We have a peacock. So I have a big peacock feather. That's that's a saved Facebook event. Right, um, You can go feather. back to an old one. And then the peacock we're actually doing as part of our kids camp. Um, it's part of our summer kids camp. And that lasts until um, September 1st, I believe, is our summer kid camp. Right. So this is one of the paintings at Kid Camp, which I'll show you all of them later. Right. The, 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 and that peacock for Kids Camp is going to be done on, on Wednesday, August 26th at 5 p.m. We'll go over the lineup of all of the stuff mm -hmm. in a little while. Right now we want to get everybody focused on their hummingbirds. All right. So the next color that we're going to do, we're going to rinse and dry from that white and the purple. Next color we're going to make is kind of that teal green color or blue color. So I'm gonna start with a scoop of my blue. Again, put it in another area of your on your plate. Uh -huh. And then just a little bit of yellow at a time. Just a little bit of yellow. A little bit of yellow at a time. So it depends on, again, what type of blue you have, what color you wanna make this, but start a little at a time. Sometimes it gets real green real fast and you end up with, you know, like floral green color. <laughs> All right, so I've How got- How far up the wing with the white? I kind of went halfway up the bottom of the wing. Okay. Yep. Halfway up the bottom of the wing with the white. Did I say that wrong? It sounded like a tongue twister. Uh-huh. Want to say it again? <laughs> halfway up the bottom of the wing with the white. <laughs> with the white. Uh, all right. That was pretty good. <laughs> all right. So I've got this kind of teal blue color or aqua blue color. It's a little different than the one that I've got, but this is my favorite color. Aside from purple. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to start by filling in that circle for his head. There, Holly, she's singing up there, huh? Mm. <laughs> right now, um, let's see here. Another suggestion from Jesse Wolf Parsons mm -hmm. Red poppies. Ooh, okay. I haven't done a red poppy painting. Wrote it down. All right. Red poppies. So from, so we've got now the circle for our head, but we kind of want to blend that in toward the rest of our bird and not just have a circle for his head. So I'm going to just lightly with that round brush, still using that medium round brush. I'm just going to start using that brush for like little brush strokes again. We're going to just bring that down in toward his body. Okay, as I get to this edge over here, it's kind of a little curved, but again, we're just gonna kind of use little brush strokes in toward the body. Up here for his beak, we're gonna begin his beak. So I'm gonna just use a curved line that way. Okay, so there's a curved line and then start a curve line this way so that they meet and you have a point here. We're gonna finish that off with black 
but for now you've kind of got that beak started. Is that the All right, right term? Um, okay, yeah, beak. but that beak, that how you made that point, mm -hmm. did you explain that to them, how yeah. to make that point? Yep, so it's a curve down here on the bottom from the side of our circle, and then it's a curved line from the top of our circle that meets that, meets that line. Right, and as you get to the tip, you taking off the pressure on your on your brush yes but well and you can just leave it you're going to make it longer yeah you're going to just leave it there we're going to go over that with black oh okay okay all right all right as we walk as we wait for people to catch up on this mm -hmm. um omni says could request leaves falling from a tree and a girl walking with an umbrella okay i wrote it down all right and then leaves anya says how about a lollipop painting. Anya, did you see your painting? You didn't see your painting yet. I don't think I posted it yet. You did a painting for, for I did Anya? It, I did a painting. It's part of our kids' camp, though, for the fall. So oh, it's, yeah? It oh, is for the fall? fall fun. So here's your request, Anya. That's fall fun? That's, That's going to be part of our fall fun. And then kids can write trick-or-treat on it or happy Halloween or whatever they like on it. Okay. And Abby says maybe a cupcake. A cupcake is in there too. See, so that's for the fall lineup. No, nope, cupcake is the very first kids painting that we did with you guys. So you'll have to scroll back to. Oh, that's the next in the event. March. Events. Yep, go back to March. There's a cupcake in there. There's that's a right. cupcake. We did that for our March or April birthdays. It might have been April. Uh huh. Nevertheless, it's in there it's in the event section. Yep. Okay, and Neil Hubbard says, how do I make a brighter purple? Um, a brighter purple. Okay, so if it's too dark, you can always add a little bit of white to it. Um, and then again, depending on the type of blue that you have, if it's too blue, you can grab a little bit more red and add some more red to it. Um, and then you may start going toward the maroon side, maybe, or the violet side. So it just depends on, again, depends on our paints, what you've got. Okay. Just another request. Christina Gonzalez from California says, I've been wanting to do a baby Buddha for my brother for oh my the God. longest time. <laughs> All right. Please All do right. a baby Buddha. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I wrote it down. <laughs> Mark's been asked and telling me we got to do the Buddha too. Do the baby Buddha. A baby Buddha. The baby Buddha. Buddha. Baby Buddha. What's well, something that he can have? Like, we have to make him unique because every other paint place is doing a Buddha okay. somewhere. Okay, so, we have so to that's make it. Huh? Every paint place does the Buddha. Yeah, I, I try to do unique and different paintings. Yeah, but so you gotta, we got to do a little research and make sure that I no one know. is offended. <laughs> you don't take somebody's deity and um, that's right. No. just do anything you want with it. We can't copy anything. We try to make everything our own, and especially, you know. But we, it's a request we, of somebody. I know, somebody, exactly. So. <laughs> All right, and then uh, Novita says hi, Jennifer and Mark. I'll paint this later hi, today. Sweetie. I was so busy taking care of my garden and everything else. I'm That's just a bit tired. Awesome. And Novita did get her wine bottle today. She did her wine bottle paint kit. She said it came in one piece. I said thank you. That makes me feel better. All right. <laughs> awesome. See. All right. So All right. still with that blue, that teal blue color, I do want to come along the top edge of the wing under that purple, and again use those kind of flat or long brush strokes. We're going down in toward the purple here. If you have to kind of go along horizontally along that purple, you can start with that. And then I want you to pull that down into the purple in the center of your wing. Okay. It can touch, they can overlap now. We're gonna we are gonna go back with some white, but for now, they're gonna touch or overlap a bit. And we're gonna take those little brush strokes all the way down to the end and to the tip of our wing. The other place I do want to grab a little bit of, of this blue, I want to put it back here on his body in kind of that white area that we did really lightly. So there's just a hint of that blue color in his body over here. 
sort of overlapping the purple and in that white area a bit. And again, I will have you rinse and dry. Autumn Hawk says, what type of paint? Acrylic paint. Do you recommend? Yep, acrylic paint. Acrylics is the best. That's, acrylics that's what you like to use. Acrylics is what I'm use. using. Yeah, acrylics is what I'm using. Um, I, I mean, unless you're like asking for specific brands, but um, acrylics is what we use. I, I tried to choose a, a flow acrylic, if you can find a flow acrylic. It kind of, like the name, flows on your canvas a little bit better than some of those heavy bodied acrylics, okay. which act like oils. Okay. Okay, now, Courtney says, ah, I thought ah. you just drank paint water. Oh. <laughs> nope. Mine. <laughs> and Wendy, Wendy was wanting you to tell her how to mix the teal, but she said she figured it out. Oh, okay. I was going to say, sure. Yeah, I didn't get to that question fast enough. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, Novita. Novita said, oh, before I forget, yes. someone asked to buy my Cardinals painting, the yes, one I did on I'm the I'm telling you, it was canvas. beautiful. I told you. I said, if somebody wants to offer you money for your work, you sell it. <laughs> And make sure, and that goes for all right. of you. That goes for all of you. If somebody That's wants to right. buy your work, Absolutely. make sure that the price rolls off your tongue. <laughs> Don't hesitate. Always have a. This girl set. still has a hard time with that, so. <laughs> I'm teaching her. It's got to roll off your tongue without hesitation. All right, I'm rinsing and drying. I'm going to grab my white again. And just like we did with the purple, I kind of want to overlap that, um, that teal color, that aqua color. I'm going to kind of go over it a couple of times till I sort of bring some of that color up because it's starting to dry a bit. So we're trying to blend those colors. And again, when I paint, I'm painting quickly by myself. So <laughs> I'm doing this with a, right along with you at the same pace. And then again, mm -hmm. in between our, um, our purple and teal color, I'm using that white again or just to blend those two colors a bit. So just long brush strokes in there of that white and it kind of blends the teal and the purple together a bit. Oh, okay. We'll still, we still have some more color to go, so. Oh, see now, okay, we got a, a new person, right? So sure. it's Sharda Rastogi. Hi. Hi, this is Sharda, joined Lee. Hi, Sharda. It's very early morning here. Okay. It's very amazing painting. Aww. Okay, and then I sent a, a reply going, well, where, where are, are you? you? <laughs> it's early in the morning, but I didn't see. India. Awesome. All right, see, that's for the world map. <laughs> yes, Mark Bach. Sharda. Hey. I'm going to write her name down and I'm going to put India. Well, welcome. I hope that you can come back to it later if you're not doing it now. Come back later and paint it later. We'll post the video in about an hour and a half when we're completed. And you can come right back to it and do it with us. And that goes for any of the other paintings that you see on our page. You can go to That's our page right. like you are now and click on the word events. And then there's all of the different paintings that we've done, all of the different sessions we've had. And you can click on any one of those videos and you can watch and, and paint any one of those videos. Absolutely. Just make sure you click on the word discussions <laughs> so that you see the video pop up and then you'll be able to paint whatever you, you like. As well as join us. It's right. very nice that he's joining us early that in the so morning. That is so cool. That's yeah, so it is cool. cool. See, we love having international viewers. That's so neat. Now, Mary Turk says, have you done a unicorn? I have. Yeah, we have yep, done a unicorn. Done a it's unicorn. on a list, right? It's on a list of events. Yep. Go back to, again, our past events on Facebook. Um, you can go back through there. There is a horse running through water, which a lot of people turned into a unicorn. unicorn. Yep. Or there's a rainbow, which is actually kind of a fundraiser for a, uh, a oh my gosh, a rescue. Right, where right, the dog we rescue. Were doing, yeah, where we were doing kind of like lost pets, but we also added a silhouette of a unicorn so that those that didn't want to do a passed on pet could do a unicorn. So there's a unicorn silhouette on a rainbow, which was really cute too. Yeah, see, Cinder says, I'll sell uh, anybody can buy anything, right, anyway. except uh oh for my gnome. <laughs> no one can buy the gnome. I'm telling you, Cinder's painting. So Cinder was our spotlight artist of the week last week, 
and she loves adding sparkle to every one of her paintings and I love getting her picture every time she paints with us. She was our spotlight so artist. Last week, yeah. And um, that's what we encourage all of the people here painting with us tonight. Click on, how do they find the spotlight artists? Um, it's just in the videos on the page. So if you go to, you'll see like kind of um, posts, photos, events, videos, probably something like that. Uh -huh. um, it should be in the videos. It's a slideshow for it's each person that we picked as the feature artist, right? Yeah, it doesn't allow me to put a video in an album because I wanted to sort of categorize that, but it doesn't allow me to do that. And that gnome that she's talking about, you can scroll down and see the gnomes <laughs> and see the slideshow the gnome of the gnomes cool. that the people painted. It is. Awesome. Okay, so next, next step, we're gonna rinse and dry. Rinse and dry, and we're gonna add. We're gonna make a light yellow. So I want you to grab a good scoop of yellow, big scoop of yellow, and a little scoop of white. We want to lighten that yellow up a little bit. All right. Okay. I have Kanal Shah who just joined. Hi, Kanal. This is how how can I see the whole video after this live event? All you have to do is after this event is over, a few minutes after that, we will paint. I mean, we will um post it. We will post the video of this session that we're having right now. You got it. And all the other sessions that you that you see when you click on the word events, the same situation applies to that too. You can look <laughs> at any one of our videos that we've made paintings with, with people and you can watch the video and paint. You got it. All right, so we're on to light yellow. So I just took a scoop of my yellow, a scoop of my white and kind of mixed together for just a lighter version of yellow. The reason why I add white to my yellow is because yellow is transparent and you can see right through it. So if I just paint yellow right onto my blue or any color, you're gonna see right through it. It'll turn green on here. Oh. So I add a little bit of white to my yellow for a light yellow. And let's do the top edge of this wing. Okay. If you have a lot of built up paint on there, yes. rinse and dry, get it back to a point. So how we get it back to a point, once you get that paint off of your brush, in your water. Yes, I zoomed in. Oh, okay. Once you get that paint off of your brush in your water, run it across your paper towel and spin. And it gets it back to a point. Okay. Okay. Now you can go back and grab a little bit of paint at a time and you don't have a ton of paint kind of stuck on that brush. So pencil grip, I like to call it pencil grip, pinky stabilize, holding your pen your pencil holding your paintbrush like a pencil right. on the metal edge of your brush and then using your pinky to kind of stabilize your hand. And that helps you get into, you know, have a little bit of control over that brush. So I'm just using those little brush strokes from the edge of the wing up into that purple area. Yes. Down, down my wing. And again, you can see my, um, you're gonna see my outlines in there because I use Sharpie, but this should be covering your pencil. Okay. So you can come as far down as you want with this. You can leave it from there to the white, up to you. And then I'm gonna take that yellow and we're gonna come up in this lighter area mm -hmm. on his chest and do some brush strokes of that yellow. What brush are you using again? This is still that medium round brush. Still the medium round yep, brush. Yep, number eight. I'll let you know when we switch again. And then I'm gonna come down along the edge of his back. Little brush strokes again, just using those little like feathers we're making on him. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then a little bit in this purple area and kind of connecting to the blue area. Little, little short strokes. Little brush strokes, yep. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, Autumn Hawk says, have you done a cow? I have not done a cow. I thought we did. No, I had it. It was on the list. I think I tried it, and I didn't like it. Okay, so, so you gotta find what you like. As Aiden would say, it got yeeted. <laughs> oh, it got yeeted? Wow. We had that conversation one day that I had no idea what yeet, yeet means. Meant. Yeet. And, yes. then I, and then I learned that he told me that if you throw something in front of you, it means fleet. 
What? Where did they learn this? I've no, never heard of this. <laughs> I never heard of it either. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so I'm sorry, Rascal. I didn't mean to kick you. Okay. So the next step, after you, we're gonna have you rinse and dry again, just in case you have you pull any other paints off of that hummingbird. We're gonna begin working on the sunflowers. This should all be dry now. Okay. So we're gonna begin working on sunflowers. Okay. So now I do want you to kind of load up that brush. Still using the same brush. Same brush. We're gonna go into that light yellow that you started with that we just created I should say we're gonna work um, kind of backwards on our sunflowers we're gonna go from yellow to the orange and then do the green and the stems I know typically people think well we do the stem and then the flowers and everything we're gonna work backwards here okay all right you can do again as many flowers as you want right you don't have to follow my design right it's all up to you okay once you figure out <laughs> the flowers and how you make them you can put them anywhere on that yep so I'm going to start with, I'm going to start up here for one in the corner. Okay. So I just want you to start by light pressure and then you're going to add pressure and then let up on pressure. Light pressure, add pressure, then let up on pressure. Yes. So light pressure, almost like to a point, as you pull towards you, you're going to add pressure and then let up on pressure. Okay, I've got it zoomed in. So you can do this, or you can just keep doing large petals like this. So they're almost like um, pointed ovals. They don't have to all be the same shape. They don't all have to be the same size. Okay, pointed ovals. So though. just pointed ovals. And we're kind of trying to get them all to sort of meet, you know, around a central area. So I want to do, I want to come about, this will be maybe the top one, and this will be the bottom one. So I'm going to not put any flower petals over here on this side. Okay. Okay, so. You're not going to put any flower petals on that side where you put your hand. Nope. So we're just going to kind of keep going around and filling in with some flower petals. And it's okay if you overlap them. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna overlap. We're just gonna start filling in like that for now. Now I got a question. Okay. From Mary Ann Cirilla. Yeah. It says, how long do these videos stay on the page? Do we know? Forever. They stay on forever? Yeah, on our, the Facebook Lives will stay on forever. Okay. I mean, until Facebook kicks them off somehow, but I'm not taking them down. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. She said she'd love to paint this tomorrow. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yep. All right, so here's go. here's our first one. Let's work on let's work on the second one. So this hummingbird may be kind of coming up into this flower, or if you want to paint another one that's kind of closer to this, you can do that. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna kind of move down here for the next one. So I'm gonna start with again. Here's my first petal. It's there again. They're just kind of elongated ovals. So let's I'm gonna try and get it to a point on the end, but right. it's not super particular, guys but you're gonna leave room for the stem and yep. the leaves. So I'm not gonna put anything on this side. All right, and use your gonna, hand again. I'm gonna kinda come down here for my last petal on this flower. Okay. So I'm gonna leave this side open. Okay, I'm gonna do, I wanna fill in this whole area with petals. All right, and you're gonna do them the same way, the, the elongated yep. oval shape. You got it. If you need to mix a little bit more, again, just take a little sc or a scoop of your yellow and a little scoop of white. Uh huh. And just mix a bit. Now, Kinal Shah says, "How can I find the old painting videos? <laughs> you come right here to this video, to this uh, to this page, Mimosas and Masterpieces here on Facebook, and you look over to the left. You'll see the word events. You click on the word events, and it's going to have a listing of." As you scroll down of all, all of the, the times events. you had an event <laughs> and whatever painting it was for that event. Okay? And when you click on that event, then you should see a lot of de a bunch of details from that event. You'll see a video. You'll see a, sl a video slideshow of uh, the paintings that people painted. 
okay? And you'll see the video of the actual event where we did the session, okay? You click on any one of those things you want. You want to look at the paintings and see how they came out, the people who painted with us that day. And you'll look at them and then you say, oh, wow, they look really nice. I want to paint one too. <laughs> and then you just say, okay, now I'm going to click on the video. And the video will start up just like we do our session live. Mm -hmm. And it'll start to play for you. Except you this it. time you can pause it and stop it. <laughs> you have can. a drink or if you got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and then you can come back and start it back up and come in and continue painting. All right. All right. But just make sure one thing, when you click on the video, you have to click on discussion. Yeah. <laughs> so that you can see the video pop up and start playing for you. All right. Let's do one down here on the bottom. Again, I'm going to kind of leave the bottom area for my leaves. Yeah, Anya says, can I make mine red? Because the yellow for me is still see-through. Yes, you can make yours red. I'm going to go to red next. Okay, okay. Or Anya, if you want to mix a little bit of red with your, you might get orange, but mix a little bit of red with your yellow. You okay. can do that. And for you new people who have joined us tonight for the first time, this is how you do it. You're painting, and you, if you're painting and you're comfortable and everything is fine, then great. But if you have questions or you have yeah, an issue with something or you want to change something, uh, all you got to do is speak up and let us know, just the way Anya does. Anya <laughs> says, hey, you know, uh, I want to make mine red. How about that? Of course that's fine. Yep, these are yours. This is your painting. Right, and whatever we can do to make the accent on you so that you can be satisfied with your painting, just let us yeah, know. Yeah, we just want you to be happy with it. That's all. That's exactly why we're here. We are going to give you guys a minute to get your yellow petals on your flowers to start. Okay. Let's see. Did I miss anything here? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm checking, I'm checking. Right, see now, um, um, Alicia says, can you draw a sunset for a painting? Yeah, we've lot, I mean, we have lots of paintings that have sunsets in them. Yeah, we do. Beach, we have beach scenes, I think, there's, uh... We have some that we've done sessions in, in there, uh... Yeah. I have another beach one that I haven't posted yet, though, the sun... A I new keep, one? I keep looking at that one, the sunglasses and the flip-flops, I haven't posted it yet. Okay, that's coming up though. That's yeah. going to be one of the future ones. We'll have to do that one probably in September. Um, where Celine, August is totally. We're and see, Celine done. said the horse painting was so hard, <laughs> but it came out nice. The horse painting was tough. It was a little more difficult because there's a lot more, um, a lot more little details and your muscles and your colors and so. Yeah. yeah, but they hung it. They hung in there yeah, with us that night. Did great. They, we, how long did that take? That took longer than two yeah. hours. Yeah, that was a little, that was over a two hour one that time. And they hung in there, and then they sent those pictures in, and those pictures. Please go to the event section <laughs> and click on that that painting, the horse painting, and look at the look at the slideshow of that painting. You I'd will be amazed. Everybody, I mean, all of them come out really neat. I'm very proud of all of you, and I love that you guys send those in to us. Because when we are when we go out in person, we get to get a final picture of everybody together with their painting. Doing it virtually, while it has its advantages, like us not dragging around 100 easels and canvases. Right, because that's what we do when we go live. <laughs> I don't get to get that final picture of everybody together. So by you sending in your photos to us, that's what kind of helps me put the finishing touches on an event that we, you know, we've planned, we've put out, we've promoted, we're sharing. So putting that slideshow together for me is the best part. It is because it shows happy people, happy faces. Yeah. Uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful Your paintings. Work. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. See, Anya says there was stippling. <laughs> there was stippling. All right. There was. You got that right, girl. <laughs> Yeah. That's so cute. All right. Why don't you guys give me give us a, a thumbs up or an okay when you're ready with those yellow? Oh, they've been ready, baby. We've been talking and talking and talking. Well, I don't want to move too fast. If I'm moving too fast, just let us know. They're working on their they're working on their uh, on their pedals. Okay. But uh, everybody's been pretty much keeping up very well. 
Yeah, I'd say just a few more minutes and then okay. you'd be ready to go. So what do we have coming up the rest of this week? We can do that. How's yep. that sound? We'll take care of it right now. Okay, today's the 27th. We're doing the hummingbird. Yes. Okay, the next time we're going to have uh the next time we're going to have a um a session it will be Thursday, July 30th at 8 p.m. We're going to be doing Dory. Dory. Dory's going to be the next event that we're going to be having, you know, we're going to the next session that we'll be doing Thursday, so. July 30th at 8 p.m. That's that's a late night one. So hopefully some of you people in California on the West Coast can join us for that. There is a sketch in the event that we need you to transfer to your canvas ahead of time. So again, we've kind of come across this a few times too. We're not quite sure how the how, what size the sketch will print out for you. You may have to enlarge it or make it smaller based on your canvas size. So you just may have to play with that a bit. How do you transfer a printout? to a canvas. Uh -huh. Once you print it out on your home printer, you have a blank canvas, you tape it to the back of your canvas, you hold it up to light, and you can sketch from there. Right. Okay? That's how you transfer a printout to whoa, to a canvas. Right, now that's going to be Thursday, July 30th at yep. 8 p.m. We'll be doing Dory. That's a free event on Facebook. And then not too long after that, Sunday, August the 2nd at 1 p.m., Another free Facebook painting. That's going to be Coffee Java Tea Mug. That's yeah. early. That's a 1 o'clock uh, session. Yep. Sunday, August the 2nd. Alrighty. All right. Now, um, we have Kids Camp. Uh, in between all of those, we have Kids Camp dates. Yes. Okay, and Kids Camp is special because it's at 5 o'clock, and it's usually during the week. Yep. Okay, so kids have something to do at the end, you know, at the end of the day, so mom can cook or <laughs> do whatever they do. And usually, when they come at home around five o'clock. Right. Okay, so I'm going to be reading off uh, some of the things that we'll be doing for the next few kids camps that are coming up. But um, in the meantime, I want to continue on with okay. um, with our uh, other our session paintings. Oh, other session paintings. Okay. Right. <laughs> Thursday, August thirteenth. The Dream Catcher. That's on the Okay, that's a Zoom side. event. Right. That's over here on this side. I'm just going to turn it over right there. There it is. You see the Dream Catcher there in the lower right corner. Okay, that's a that's a Zoom event. That's $5. Thursday, uh, August 13th at 8 p.m. We'll be on Zoom and we'll be uh, doing that painting. Now... Uh, while everybody's getting done, because I see the, the Rabones are done. All right. Okay, and uh, Avni's done, Cinder's done. Okay. I'm pretty sure Anya's done. There. <laughs> okay, so before we, uh, before we continue on and finish up this painting, I'm going to read this special day for the ladies. Oh, yes. Saturday, August the 15th. That's a double header day, okay? The first part of the day is free. That's on Facebook. Starts at 1 p.m. That's the girls' night out. Hold on, I gotta fix the camera. Oh, I was gonna say, okay. I'll bring it back so, so they can see. So this event is at one o'clock. The painting is free on Facebook. Right. Oh no, it ripped. It ripped? How did that happen? Aiden must have been uh, working down here and maybe moving all the stuff around. Oh. Well, I'm sure I have another one because I think I painted it twice. Okay. So, anywho. Wow. So, anyway, 1 p.m., this is free, Facebook Live. But what's, what is also available, and what's gonna, it's going to make this event longer, we're doing a bunch of giveaways. Right. So, if you would like to be included on the giveaway wheel, we'll do a live spinner. You have to be live with us. You can't go back and watch it. You can't win later. Right. You've got to be live so that you can comment for us when you win. Um five dollars for a space on the wheel I have we have prizes starting to kind of post up in the event so you can take a peek at that right um, there's stuff from a bunch of different vendors I have like um, uh, you can check out what's posted there already but I have more that have not been posted yet so, so we're going to be adding more to it yes so before th August those the are 15th giveaways. you will be responsible for shipping if you're not local if there's something that I can ship to you um, online again we'll We'll sort of 
we're going to have to kind of work it out as we go because now you guys are all over the place. That's but, all right. Um, yeah. yeah, but so you'll probably just be responsible for some shipping if I can't have it shipped directly to you and it's not in my possession. Um, and then in the evening after this, so this is for everyone. If the kids want to join you and the girls, you know, your girls want to paint with you, awesome. Right, yeah. that's Saturday, August 15th at 1, 1. p.m. That's when we're right. going to start. And that's called, that event is called Girls Night, Night Out. Out. Okay, so you can click on that and get all of the details. Then when we finish that painting, we come back the same night, 8 p.m., to do 50 Shades. But that's on Zoom. This will be on Zoom. It's a $5 event on Zoom. But that $5 will also put you on the spinner wheel for adult prizes. Right. So there's no kids for this event. It's adults only. <laughs> and it's on Zoom. It's and the $5 that you pay to get on Zoom to get access to the event is going to automatically get you a spot on the spinner. Right. If you want to add more spots on the wheel for yourself, have better chances at winning, you may. We don't take the names off throughout the entire night, so you can win multiple times, and that goes for both sessions. Right, and uh, this is why we're painting a painting. Yes. Okay, so that's a big night. That's a big yes. night for the ladies. Okay, yeah, guys, you can join too, but um, it's, this is basically for the ladies, starting <laughs> at 1 p.m., Girls' Night Out, that's free on Facebook, and then that's that right. evening at 8 p.m., Fifty Shades and Spinners on Zoom. You got it. All right. All right. All right. Let's let's do the rest of this painting. <laughs> we still got a couple of steps to go, guys. Uh -huh. Okay. So next thing, we're gonna rinse and dry after that yellow that you put on, and then I'm gonna have you take a scoop of yellow and start with a small scoop of red, depending on the how dark your red is. If you have crimson, you need a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of that red for yellow. We're just making an orange color. Okay. Okay, so orange is the next color. With that orange color, I'm gonna have you start kind of making smaller versions of oh, the petals? those petals. Now they don't have to be full petals, they can just be partial petals okay. around the side of the yellow petals that you've made already. All right, I want to zoom, zoom in a little. Okay. Uh oh, wait a minute. Low battery. Yeah. Darn. Sorry, I have to speak out. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to take this. Sorry, guys. Hold in. Yeah, and put this in. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in. So they're gonna see just like your hand. All right. So again, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna come down here again. So you can make smaller petals that are here already, like this. So we want almost another layer of petals, but you don't have to do a full petal. So sometimes you can just create just kind of half petals or kind of run along the side of the yellow that you have there already. All right. Yeah. Just make sure you talk a little louder. So making some are going to be full smaller petals and then some will be kind of the orange that goes right alongside the yellow okay so some of them are going to be almost the same some size be, some will, not, not quite the same size we still want them smaller okay so some will be that those smaller complete pointed oval and then some will be just kind of a brush stroke of that orange along the side of those yellow ovals that you made already. Okay. okay. Alright, I see somebody saying something happened to the microphone. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yes. Sorry. Our mic went out. My phone is dying. It only can hold so much charge when we go live. Yeah, which is why we got to make sure we charge it completely before we begin our events. I didn't expect to be eight hours getting my hair colored. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you don't let your producer handle your appointments. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, my. All right, so again, with that orange, 
if you haven't come up the sides, on some of them, I want you to come up along the side of some of those petals. Okay, you're doing that pretty fast. Slow down so they can see what you're doing. Along the side of some of those yellow petals. about how you play with the colors on the brush. You know, every I know, again, you have to trust the process a little bit with me here. Uh -huh. It may not look exactly like a sunflower, but once you get a little bit more detail and some of that green on there, I promise you, you're gonna like them. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna come along the edges of some of these petals over here too. So I'm just using that orange color that I made along the side of each one of those petals. It doesn't matter which side you use. You're just using that orange you made yep. along the sides of the petals. Right. And then I'm going to rinse and dry that brush. And then you're going to rinse and dry. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And let's show you, I'll show you what we have for Kid Cam coming up so far. All right. Okay. The very next one is Pakalaka. <laughs> the Pakalama. The Alpaca Llama is our next Kids Camp it's painting. It's on Wednesday. So typically we are doing these. Oh, now. hold on. We got you zoomed in. They can't even see you. Uh, group. Okay. All right. That's better. So, so we would, if you are interested, you may still join the kid camp for the summer. We've only done two so far. The videos are saved. Mm -hmm. So we have you in a private group. We typically will go Facebook Live and save the video in the private group for you to go back to if you need to. Right. On Wednesday, this is the next one we're doing, but we are doing it on Zoom because I have a sort of special guest that the kids will get to see during this session. Right. Okay? Right. That's the only one we're gonna do on Zoom. Other than that, we're Facebook Live within our private group. You're so welcome to join. It's sixty five dollars for your household to join. Right. For no matter how many people in your household. Sessions. Yep. Okay. And that's Wednesday the 29th at five PM. All of well all of our uh, kids camp sessions are at five PM. Right. All right. Now the next one uh, that one right there, that's the hanging out, that's the hanging out yep. frog, right? Yeah, I don't have them in order. Okay, now hanging out is on August the 18th at 5 p.m. for the kids camp. All right, what do you have next? The peacock. peacock that we talked about. Peacock is Wednesday, August 26th at 5 p.m. That's all part of the kids camp package. Right, dabbing panda. That's September 1st, Tuesday, 5 p.m. That's a kids' camp event. And then you've got the pug in a mug. The pug in a mug is August the 12th at 5 p.m. That's a kids' camp event. And then Cool Koala. Cool Koala is before the pug in the mug on August the 3rd. That's a Monday at 5 p.m. Uh, Did you forget anybody? I'm missing the bubble gum machine. Yes, you're, yep, you're missing the bubblegum machine. Right. And you need pumpkin. Okay, let's see. We got a Zoom event on se September 10th, Thursday, 7 p.m., the pumpkin cat, right uh, there in yeah. the back. That's this guy. And then we will, we'll continue our flowers. All right. Yep, Pumpkin Cat is on uh, September 10th, Thursday, okay. 7 p.m. 
All right, guys, I am gonna have you switch over for now to the smaller brush. So we're gonna work on some details on our hummingbird while our flowers dry a bit, okay? So switching over to that tinier brush for detail. Uh -huh. Always rinse and dry to start. Rinse and dry. Rinse and dry. Yep. So I wanna kind of start with that, um, with that eye area and the beak. So that is just a little bit of black on that brush to start. Okay. So toward the front of, oh again, you have to zoom, I'm sorry. It's already zoomed, baby. Oh, you're good, okay. Thanks. I don't mess around, I'm a well, producer. I got you. <laughs> so toward the front of the face, um, coming down just a bit from the top of the head, I'm gonna start with almost a pointed, like a triangle shape start. A little triangle shape. The top of a triangle shape. And then we're gonna almost round out the back of that triangle. And I'm gonna bring it toward our beak. Oh, okay. So you started with the triangle and then you got to the bottom of that triangle and you draw it out a nice little thin black line all the way out yep. to the beak. All the way to our beak. I want to bring the front of that triangle also toward the beak. Oh. And I'm probably saying that wrong. Is that right? The beak? Right? Uh, that's as far as I know. <laughs> okay. All right. What is it? A needle? I don't know. Catula? Maybe. A catula? Maybe there's like a proper name for it that I don't know about. It's possible. Okay. So we need to drag this pointy beak all the way out. And so how did you get it so, so really sharp? Really light pressure on that brush. So as you pull away from the beak, yeah. from the center or from the head, you want to lighten up on your pressure and that will get that tiny point for you. And you got to make sure that that brush is Pointed. Clean, dry, and to a point, yep. Okay. All right, let's fill the rest of that in. The eye. Yep. We'll go back for that highlight, don't worry. Okay. Right, because see the Rabone says, you're about to lose the Rabone. You've got to go faster, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. All right, so with that tiny brush, really lightly, really lightly, I want you to start feathering out some of that black okay. around the bottom of that eye, around the bottom of his face. All right. So really light pressure, guys, real light pressure. Little feathers we're making on the bottom of his face. Little to, strokes. Yep, little brush strokes. We just want to bring that down about halfway down between the beak and his neck. So about halfway down. Right? I want to do the same around the top of that beak. Little feather brush strokes, light, light, light. And then you can go ahead and continue outlining the rest of your hummingbird. Okay. So remember, rinse and dry that brush. Get it back to a point often. And then use that pencil grip, pinky to kind of stabilize your grip. Uh -huh. Light pressure all the way around, and we will get to some other details on here. But for now, let's start by outlining what we've got. Okay. As you get to the tail, you can kind of feather this out a little bit more. And then you can do two of those little feathers. So one toward the top and maybe one toward the bottom. All right. Okay, again, I'm just gonna continue outlining his body and his wing and his head, or hers, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Let's outline the head. Our brush is getting built up with paint. Remember, rinse and dry, get it back to a point. Rinse, dry, <coughs> Excuse swirl me. on that paper towel to get it back to that point. And 
and let it come down the top of his wing. toward that purple to make this area a bit darker okay on his wing you could bring that up about maybe a quarter of the way up about a quarter of the way up yep. okay now holly hogan spencer says is there a way to restart it from the beginning or is that only available once this is complete right once it's complete you may once this is complete yep. we will post a video right here on the most of the masterpieces page Got just it. gotta click on the events section, right? Click on the events, right. and for this particular session, and then the video will be posted uh, minutes after we finish doing the uh, <laughs> Correct. session. All right, so we're the center, of the bottom of his body. If you want to do two little lines, two little kind of um, L's, maybe upside down L's for claws or feet, you can do that. Okay. For the edge of the wing, depending on your color, depending on your outline, you don't have to outline it in the black, but if you want to, so this is kind of a loose, light outline, okay? I'm not doing a straight line across. Uh -huh. I just want to kind of drag my brush and sort of move it back and forth. So it's a wiggly line oh. all the way down across, but real light pressure, okay? Okay. Continue with that light pressure. It's almost, almost like you're drawing down. with a pencil. Almost. Yes, Holly Hogan Spencer, please keep in mind that uh, all of the events, all of the sessions that we've had on here, they're all in that events, uh, in that event folder. Yep. So you can look at any of our paintings That's and you true. can go back and paint any of them just watching the video. <laughs> so it's just a matter of what you see and what you like. So just yeah. pick all the videos and check them out. There are slideshows to every video. So you look at the slideshow and then you decide whether you like the painting or not. <laughs> a minute give us a couple of thumbs up or okay that you're ready to move on all right now you said the little feet were upside down l's yeah they're like little um either open l's or um less than signs how about that okay okay <laughs> or big uh parentheses <laughs> Yes, Jody, Darian, Golden just joined. Hi, Jody. Wants to check out your hair. We will. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, wait, you were really zoomed. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're zoomed right now. You can't see it. Can't see it. We got a little bit of a rainbow going. I'm so excited. Sorry. For I can't wait to go to work tomorrow with it, though. <laughs> yeah. Are they going to be all right? Uh, they'll have to be. They're not going to send you home, are they? Please do. Oh, uh, listen to you. <laughs> Please do. Okay. All right. All right. If I'm going too fast, let me know, guys. You can nope, not going fast down. enough. Okay. Ready. Rinse and dry. We're going to grab white with that tiny brush. Okay. Above that little triangle, I want to repeat that little triangle, but in white. Right above that little triangle on his face. Oh, okay. If you pick up black, Rinse and dry. And I want you to grab another little dot of white. So I want you to get a, a little scoop of white on there, and we're gonna just dot that eye, dot the eye. <laughs> yep, we dot so the to eye. Speak. <laughs> yeah. All right. And your hummingbird is completed. Now okay. we just need to finish our flowers. Some flowers, right? So I'm gonna switch back to that medium round brush. Back to the medium round brush. Back, back to the medium round. All right, now we need to create green. Okay, oh, there was black on that brush, I can't believe that. Uh-huh. <laughs> I need to create green, guys. 
So scoop of yellow, scoop of blue, or you can try and add um, yellow to this that you have already. You have that teal? Yep. And that should turn it green pretty quickly depending on the ratio. Now, Avni says, how do I post a picture of my painting? As soon as we are done, I'll post a thank you and a reminder. Uh -huh. And then at the bottom of that post, you would just put it in there like a comment. And put your so just click in. it in there like a comment. Yep, you got it. So after the event is over, you'll post something where they'll be able to put the pictures in that posting. Correct. So that's what they just got to wait a few minutes after this is over yep. and then you'll take care just of it. Just give us about five minutes when we're done. Five or ten minutes. I will post the video and then I will post the um, the thank you with, again, our, our tip information. Right. Our tip jar information. And then you can post your photos right there. Now you're mixing green. Can you, yeah, I was going to say, can you show them? Green. And that was from the yellow? That's from yellow and some blue. Okay. So you didn't like the teal? I, I just needed to add more yellow. I didn't have oh. enough yellow on my plate left. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do a similar thing with the green. Again, some of this may be wet still. It's okay if you pick up some of that color. All right. It's fine. Don't worry about it too much, okay? Yep. So let's start with, however, our stem, okay? So on this flower, <clears throat> sorry, losing my voice. We're going to start almost toward the center of where my flower would be here. All right. Pressure on that brush, and then just pull away. We're going to pull off the side of our canvas. In a curve? Yeah, you could do a little curve. It doesn't have to be straight. Okay, so it could be interpreted any way any you want. Any way you want. All right. Okay. I'm going to curve the edge out like this on either side. Oh, okay. And from the center, from this area, I'm going to just use some pressure and pull some leaves from here all the way up into our flower, into our orange area. Sticking right from the center here, I want to cover up any blue that's open there. Any blue. Any blue that's open there now, we want to kind of cover with some some pet, uh, leaves, I guess, of our flower. Okay, yeah, let them see that because they couldn't see you do it with your hand. Sorry. Your hand was right in the way. I'm sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. <laughs> Start with those edges, right, from the stem, and then come around for the edges of the flower first. The edges of the flower first. Yeah, edges of the flower first. You could do an extra little leaf down here if you want to. You could do an extra little leaf. And then again, right from the center of your stem, you're just going to pull up into your flower. From the center of the stem, you're going to pull up with your green into the flower. Right, saying, can you talk a little louder? I'm sorry. I'm not a good shouter. That's why I'm trying to repeat, repeat. what she says. <laughs> Thank you. I've been trying to teach her like I was trained as an actor I to know. project from the diaphragm, but yeah, it's just yeah. not working. I'm trying my best to get her to understand it. That's how you talk. All right, let's do another one down here on the bottom. Stem down there. Leaves on either side, the right and left first. And then from the center of our stem, up into your flower. And there you go. If you want to add leaves, you can add leaves. Okay. If, if you have some room to add a leaf on the side of your stem, you can do that. Cool. That's just a longer... You know, the same shape that we use for our petals. Uh-huh. 
couple more steps, guys. We're almost there. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go back to that light yellow. Sticking with that medium round brush. I wanna make that light yellow again if you need to. Scoop mm -hmm. of yellow and a little bit of white. Let's add some highlights on those leaves of our greens, okay? Okay. So around, along the side of any leaves that you have. Yes. And around the top edge of the stem. Avni's asking a question. Hi. He's saying, can I put some shade with dark green? Absolutely. Good idea. Yep, yep. All right, so around the edge of each of your leaves, you can add a little bit of that light yellow color. Oh, okay. So we're just adding highlights right along each of our or stems. Stems and, and the leaves. green of our leaves. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, I see it. Okay. So we're just using that light yellow on some of that greenery. Yes. Yeah, we're still close in. That's good. good. They can see all of that color. And then I know someone did just did some uh, shadows. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stick with highlights. This time I'm going to white. Same brush. White. Grab white. So on the opposite side of where you have your orange yeah. on the yellow, yeah. I want you to put a little bit of white. On the opposite side where you have your orange. Right. So you're gonna add some white highlights in there on the opposite of the orange. You got it. So opposite side of my orange, I'm just using a little stroke of that white along the edge of my petals. Okay. And it seems like you're doing rather light strokes. Yeah. The, the more pressure you have, the wider your brush stroke will get. Okay. It's almost like an outline a little bit. Yeah, kind of. Instead of outlining your um, the yellow petals, we're just going to go back to outline a little bit of the greenery. Okay. So I am going to swap back for the last step to that tiny brush again. The tiny brush. Switching back to the tiny brush after you have your green and yellow and orange. Green, yellow, orange, everything should be on those uh, flowers. Okay. And we're just gonna go to black. Really light pressure, guys. We're gonna use the black, but really light pressure. We're still zoomed in so they Good. can see. All right. So I almost want to create some light outlines in those flowers. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be every single petal. Okay. Just a couple of them. Just a couple. It could be around your green. It could be around part of the yellow. Uh -huh. It could be around some of the orange. Oh, okay. Okay, so there's no right or wrong just kind of how you feel, adding a little bit of detail to those petals and those flowers. Okay. That brush gets kind of too full of paint. Remember to rinse and dry. Okay. And just get it back to a point again. And you don't have to do the entire flower. I'm just going to kind of add a couple little light outlines in there to 
help give the flower some shape. Yes. So you know what it is. Mila says, that looks really nice. Aw, did you do one, Mila? Were you painting with us? I think so. We can't wait let to see, see yours. I hope you mean that. It's yours. Oh, that looks really see. nice. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of people just drop in, <laughs> check out your hair. That's what happened. <laughs> but no, but we had plenty of people from all over wanting to paint tonight. That's awesome. I'm so glad, guys. I don't know what it is. It's either a Monday night, I, people are ready to paint. I don't know. Or, Thursday, or Thursday night, yeah, people are ready to paint. What I is said, it with Thursday and Monday? Because I said Thursday's the best day of the week. It's the day before the weekend. Okay. It's the best. It seems like the people come out a lot on Thursday night <laughs> and on Monday. The very last thing we are going to ask you to do, aside from sending your photos, is to sign your painting, okay? So, I like to use that tiny little brush, and I'm usually bottom right or bottom left of my canvas. Uh -huh. Whatever color you like, add those initials and the year on your painting. And then you guys are done. And then how do they send us a picture of their I painting? Will, once we add the video, event I will make sure that I post that thank you um, the tip jar and a reminder right there will be post your photos here and you just add it like a comment okay what so you're you're um to pay for like to give a tip that right. would be like your Venmo the PayPal the cash app correct okay you're gonna post that in the yeah I'll thank post, you afterwards right? right I'll post that in the thank you afterwards okay you got it but that's it. You're done, guys. And Again, please send them. us the pictures. Yeah. Because as soon as we get as, as soon as we get all the pictures after a few days, <laughs> then she makes put, a slideshow. Right. I put together the slideshow. But yes, make sure you come back and join us. We hope you had fun. Let us know if you have any questions, though. While we're hanging around, we'll chill out for another minute or so with you. Yes. Yeah, so well, keep in mind, the next time we'll be back here free on Facebook is Thursday, July 30th. At 8 p.m. So it's the evening with Dory. Dory. And we mm -hmm. left lots of room on there so you can put in whatever words you want. Whatever slogans, whatever <laughs> words, whatever Just things that come to your mind. Or, oh, look, there's Fireball. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we have We're a lot of creative from. thinking people that join us. So <laughs> I'll be very interested in seeing what uh, right. phrases they put on their Dories. <laughs> Aside from our canvas paintings, there are two wine bottle paintings. Oh, that's um, right. That you can join us with. We will ship the kits to you. They are light up wine bottles. One is a palm tree and one are pumpkins. Right, pumpkins. and that's going to be on Sunday, August the 30th at 7 p.m. is the light up wine bottle painting. Palm and that's tree. on Facebook. Right. Yeah, we're going to go Facebook Live. So if you want to get your own supplies together, paint with us you can that's absolutely. true or you Otherwise, can order the kit from us order the kit and i have the lights we have the paints we're going to send you a set of brushes yes the correct the wine bottles that are frosted um the, the enamels that you need so and, and all you new people um experience our page mimosas <laughs> and masterpieces go to the videos go to the um look at the posted photos try to scroll down and see all of the things that we've done um we're basically a live traveling uh, paint and sip experience, <laughs> but um, we, we've, we've changed and evolved into a virtual painting, uh, a virtual painting uh, session. And we love it. Yeah. <laughs> and we're trying to make up, we're trying to build it up so that one day it'll be a TV show that people will come and see. We're going to evolve as you continue to join us for whatever we're doing on Zoom or whatever we're doing here, you're going to see us evolve. Okay, we got the map there in the back that we're about to start pinning up to show all of the demographic, where they all come from, and where everybody's joining us from, and give you shout outs as well. Okay, so we're gonna we, enhance our show. When we so go that, in that concentrated area, we can travel to you. <laughs> right, that's what she keeps saying. She keeps saying she would love to travel well, sometime next year. 
All right, so we get enough people that are that are interested that we'll definitely travel out there. I'll figure it okay? out. Okay, we'll and space. for the new people that have come by and uh, checked out our page, look at the old history of what we do. Okay, because <laughs> what we started out doing, we still do. Yeah. We go out live and we put up a whole bunch of easels and canvases and we paint with lots of people join us live. Going out on Friday. Okay, so uh, yeah, just <laughs> check out our page. Go through it. Look at the um, look at the pictures. Look at the videos. Yeah. Um, there's videos so that you can paint. So um, it's a lot to offer here on our page, and um, hopefully then you'll have a better understanding of who we are, what we're about, what Jennifer's been doing, and what she's going to continue to do. That's right. All right. Oh, Miss Simone Kosensky is here. Great Hi, job, Simone. Jennifer Thank and Mark. So Yes, and then and then um, Omni says yes. Yours looks so good. Aw, thank you. Wendy Rollins says the paint I use is Liquitex. Okay. Basics, okay. acrylic. Uh, I mean acrylic. Yep. Acrylic color, Perfect. but it doesn't seem to cover like yours. What's the best type of paint to use? Liquitex is a really good brand, actually. Um, it may just be because I try to add, like I was adding to my yellow. I add some white to mine. Um. My red, I always try to, so we didn't use straight red today, but your your paints are normally, the red and yellow are normally gonna be transparent, which means you can see through them. Uh -huh. So you always have to add either a color that's right next to it on the color wheel. So if, we, if I use red, I add a little bit of yellow to it. Um, if I use yellow, I usually add some white to it, so it's kind of opaque, so you can't see through it. Um, my blue has some yellow, or has some white in it already. So I'm using a lighter blue, and the white is what's coverage. So it also depends on what white you have. Um, you may have, there's a couple of different whites. So maybe you don't have a white that's like a covering white. Uh -huh. Titanium white is usually your covering white. Um, if you're just using, you know, like I'm just using a Artist Loft Low Acrylic, you know, like the cheap stuff I've got, it, I mean, it just says white. So okay. it's not, nothing special. Yeah. All right. Other so than covering, I'm, I'm not sure how else. I don't know what else you mean by covering. So, um, are your paints thick? If they're too, if they're, I shouldn't say too thick. If they're thick, you may just need a different brush. You may need to use like a bristle brush, um, as opposed to I use a, a nylon or a um, synthetic. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> a tacklon. So it's called tacklon brushes. Now, Shada Rastogi says. Thank you so much for the wonderful session, and I will post mine shortly. Regards. Awesome. I want to say thank you, Sharda, for joining us yeah. early in the morning there in <laughs> India. You please feel free to join us anytime, yeah. or click on our videos when you got the time, and you can paint any one of our pictures. That's and just right. please, whenever you do, just take a picture of your painting and send it to us, <laughs> even if you do the old ones. Yeah, we love getting pictures of the old ones that you guys do. I still enjoy that. And, and I know that a lot of people like to paint alone because yeah. they're in their thoughts. Yeah. But um, if you want to join, have somebody join us, especially, Sharda, you in India, you you could be painting with somebody in the morning. I don't know. I, I guess you could, <laughs> you know. But, uh, yes, please, tell somebody. Tell a friend. Join them. Yeah, have cool. them join us. And we do offer private Zoom sessions. So if you want to have a smaller group of friends or, you want, or a big group of friends and you just want something private for your group, we offer private Zoom sessions for just a flat rate. Um, we, we do the same thing. We give you your supply list. We tell you what you need. You guys go out and get it, or I'll order it and ship it to you, whatever yep. you like. We do it for companies. Uh, yeah, we've done an We've done birthday year. parties. We yeah. just started doing We just went back out on the road. We just started out with a birthday party. And I have another birthday party on Friday. Okay, so we're slowly getting out there. We, we social distance. <laughs> we wear masks. We're very careful. Yep. Now, Celine says, do you ship to Canada? I will figure it out, girl. <laughs> All right. This is, what do we need to buy for that? For which one? The one you were telling them that the they need to bottle. buy. Yeah, you had to so buy the kit. Go on to, go on to Facebook on the events. Um, there are forms. There's like a Google Doc or a Google form. Fill it out for me. It does have uh, the $38 is includes shipping in the U.S., let me, I'll just have to check out if you want to PM me your address, and I'll figure out what the difference in shipping is, okay? So let me know. Okay, now Jennifer Caron yep. Labrie says, 
I need to fix the beak. Can I use the background blue, white to cover black? Is it first? Can I use the background blue and white to cover black? Yes, you can. So first, is it dry? That's my first question. Uh huh. If it's not dry all the way, what I'll have you do is take your flat brush, okay? Take a flat brush, a dry flat brush, clean, and try and wipe it off. Rinse and dry it, and with almost a damp brush, Yes. again, you're gonna kind of wipe over it, and you can almost erase it. Right, with the blue and your, the white, right? Not even touching blue and white yet, okay? Just, okay, okay. Just take a dry brush, clean dry brush, Yeah. if it's wet. If it's if it's dried already, then yes, go back over it with white first. Just go back over with white first, let it dry, go back over with that corner of blue, corner of white, just like we did, let it dry, and then you can do your beak again. She says it's dry. Okay, yep. Okay. So go over it with white first. White will be your covering first. Okay. And then you can go let it dry, go back over with your corner of blue, corner of white X's, right. blend, and then once that dries, then you can do the beak again. again. Yep. All right. It's a little bit of a process, but make sure that you like it. That's the point, right? You want could she could she possibly it. like sketch it out before she paints it? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Okay. Yep, I know it. That tiny. She says thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Katrina Cobb McLaughlin says, I got to go to sleep now, <laughs> but I will finish the leaves and the stems later. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good. You're Thank welcome. you for joining us. Anytime. And, and Sharda says, yes. Um, yes, I will sure, I'll be sure to tell my friends. Aww. Yes. Okay. Good. So you have a, a group of people getting up early in the morning <laughs> in India. Ready love to it. paint with you. <laughs> or what time is what time would it be when we do the one p.m. one, the coffee java tea next week? I don't know because if we're doing this at eight o'clock at night, she's saying it's the morning there. Twelve hours. So it would be late at night, or it would be at night time. Be eight o'clock. <laughs> I don't know. At one o'clock here. I'm, I'm not sure. We we'll have to get the time. Oh yeah, it would be one in the morning there. That wouldn't work out. All right, we okay. have to check the time differences. <laughs> Right, but Wendy yeah. Rollins said the brush makes a difference. Yeah, the brush definitely makes a difference. Thank yeah. you. All right, let me see. Does anybody else have any issues? Uh, Celine, can you send me the list of items to buy and then I can buy it before the event? In Canada, we only have Michaels or Curry's for art stores. Michaels is For perfect. the wine bottle event? Yeah, for the wine bottle. Okay. So, yes, the wine, um, yes, yes. Just message me. Oh, I remember. All right, just message her. Just message me, and yes, I can send you what you need. Amy, Amy Hedrick says, this has been wonderful. Thank Aww, you. Oh, you're welcome, Amy. Yes, please join us again. Yeah, again, uh, when you... Emil Hubbard says, can I see the feet again, please? Sure, can you... Are you still zoomed? Yeah. Oh. Oh, no, I'll zoom in. You're not zoomed. I'm not zoomed. I'm, okay. I'm you know, portrait on you and... Oh, gotcha. All right, now I'm zooming in. Okay. I'm oh. zoomed in now. So just like a large parent... Not parent quotes like large quotation marks like Almost. quotation marks okay <laughs> that's kind of the shape of it but um but yes when you guys you know we love seeing i love seeing the tags of when you guys share them on your page your personal page hey, yes. like what i did tonight with mimosas and masterpieces tag yes. us yes tag we us we love it we love seeing those tags yes please sometimes facebook allows us to see your posts sometimes not it also depends on the privacy of your settings so we may not see them if i see it i always comment thanks for painting with us yes um but yes we appreciate those, those we are definitely great. appreciate the tags those are great. Yeah. yeah if you're if you're showing off your painting please tag us because we want to <laughs> see who you're showing it off to yeah. we, we want to show off for you <laughs> absolutely all right somia says thank you Hi, you're very welcome. Thanks for painting with us. Yeah, this was a real nice Monday night. And um, I think yeah. that the late the late time is what people like the most because they're pretty much done with whatever they were yeah, doing when they're getting done. home. Kids and are kind of dealt with. <laughs> you can kind of hang and relax before bed. Yeah. But, yes. I mean, if you, if you like to take some more time for yourself. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> If you like to take more time for yourself, then um, sometimes it is nice to go back and um, and watch the video on your own where you can fast forward it or pause it. Yes. But yeah, absolutely. Yep, Celine says yes, with. thank you. You're Have welcome. a good night. You're very welcome. All right. 
a really good Monday. Cool, guys. Yeah, we want to thank everybody for coming out tonight <laughs> and joining us for some painting. That's right. And uh, don't hesitate to come back and join us. We'll be right back here before you know it. Thursday okay. we'll be here, and we'll be here painting Dory. That's it. And that's also at 8 p.m. <laughs> yes. We kept that one late, too. Yes. So thank you again, everybody. Absolutely. Have a very great and safe evening. Have a good evening, and we'll see you soon. Thank you, guys. Do you have any questions? <laughs> Cinder no. says, before you leave, Cinder uh -oh. says, Flowers don't look like sunflowers because I just went back and added the glitter paint, but that's okay. <laughs> Love the glitter. Everything else has glitter. Michelle Pabual says thank you. Hi, Michelle. Thank Patricia you. Patricia Burns says thanks again for another enjoyable evening. Aww. Nancy, one of our top fans, says thank you again. Love it. Love Emil you, Hubbard Nancy. says this was awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, everybody. Aww. Everybody have a great evening. That's we'll see great. you guys again. Have a good night, guys. Good night. <laughs> all right, Rascal. All right, Rascal. Bye. She's all yours.